you know, we looked at how do we leverage modern technology to reduce the friction for the user and increase the security for the business. Over 90% of us are using a smart mobile device today that has a biometric enabled function on it, whether that's uh, you're using a modern iOS device with face ID or even just a more recent one with fingerprint reader or on an Android device, they have their own versions of face or fingerprint reader. Traitware can leverage those biometric features of your mobile device. And as we just discussed, the mobile device is something you possess. Now, what's unique about Traitware and what we have our first couple patents issued on is how we register your mobile device as a secure token. And we generate, the way that you interact with your mobile device is different than the way I interact with my mobile device or my spouse interacts with her mobile device, or even if I had a twin, we would interact with our mobile devices differently. How you use your device is so unique and the mathematical representation that we can generate from that interaction with it separates you to greater than one in 300 billion. So now you have a very unique token that again, Verizon, Forrester, these studies show that we don't on a typical day leave it more than three feet away from us at any given point during the day because we're addicted to it and it's just a necessity of life facilitation today. We carry this device wherever we go. Mm -hmm. So how do we use that to create a digital identity that allows me to access other resources in a simple method? So once we've created this unique secure token, we can then leverage uh, for the something that you are, the biometric features that are native to the device. And what's great about this is we're able to do that in a way, especially on an iOS device, that never puts your personal identity or personal information at risk, especially related to your biometric uh, identity. When you register your face on an on a iOS device or on, on an Android device, or you register your fingerprint, similar to the mathematical representation that we create to tokenize your mobile device, that's really just a mathematical equation or mathematical template of your biometric. It's not actually a picture of your face or a picture of your fingerprint that if for some reason it was taken, could be reused in a malicious way. Apple creates this mathematical representation of your biometric in a secure enclave on the device with an algorithm that they don't even know. They'll never see it, we'll never see it. It never leaves the mobile device. And yet we can leverage that access to allow for something you are coupled with the something you have, this now you know, one in 300 billion token that we've created to then log in or access applications that you want to via a single sign-on portal or through Traitware, you can have uh, a single pane of glass in your app to multiple accounts. So I can have a single access point to different siloed resources from a single pane of glass in my mobile device. I can access those tools on my mobile device or on my laptop, a desktop, a TV screen, anything, any other screen that has web access, I can use my mobile device to log in to those other tools. And we accomplish this piggybacking on the authentication standards that single sign-on has grown in adoption through SAML 2.0 or OpenID Connect, which is why we are <clears throat> very simply plug and play for most enterprise applications today. We can de be deployed in 20 minutes uh, because we're leveraging existing authentication standards. Now, the advantage is, is that when you deploy Traitware, we're not storing passwords, we're not stuffing them. We are moving you to a modern biometrically enabled multi-factor authentication login where all of that technology is inherent in the solution. 
and the user can log in and literally in some instances in two touches, no typing and never have to remember or create a password ever again. 